Thank you for teaching me the dual power of my beauty and my brilliance. This might sound boastful, but ever since I was a little girl, my dad always told me I was beautiful. That may sound basic and like a no-brainer. <laughs> um, but dad wanted me to understand and appreciate my blackness and truly feel that my rich brown skin was just as beautiful as alabaster or any shade of the rainbow. I want you all to know that it was not easy. What Congressman Chairman Cummings did was not easy. And it got infinitely more difficult in the last months of his life when he sustained personal attacks and attacks on his beloved city. And while he carried himself with grace and dignity in all public forums, it hurt him. Because one thing you do not know about Congressman Cummings, he was a man of soul and spirit. Thousands of people gathered in Baltimore today to celebrate the life and legacy of the late Congressman Elijah Cummings. His family was joined by former presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, and several of his congressional colleagues at Congressman Cummings' longtime church in Baltimore to say goodbye to a man who dedicated his entire life to public service. Cummings died last week at the age of 68 after more than 20 years in Congress. This past year, when Democrats won the House, Congressman Cummings became the chair of the powerful House Oversight Committee, which continues to ramp up its impeachment inquiry into the president. Congressman Cummings is undeniably more than a character in Donald Trump's America. And while no one speaking today directly mentioned the president of the United States, he was certainly in the subtext when they reflected on the life of Congressman Cummings. It is no coincidence, is it? that Elijah Cummings shared a name with an Old Testament prophet. Like the prophet, our Elijah could call down fire from heaven. <laughs> but he also prayed and worked for healing. He weathered storms and earthquakes, but never lost his faith. Like that Old Testament prophet, he stood against corrupt leadership of King Ahab and Queen Jezebel. And he liked to remind all of us that you can't get so caught up in who you are fighting that you forget what you are fighting for. I have to say, listening to Elijah's daughter speak, uh, that got me choked up. I'm sure those of you who have sons feel the same way, but there's something about daughters and their father. And I was thinking I'd want my daughters to know how much I love them, but I'd also want them to know that being a strong man includes being kind. That there's nothing weak about kindness and compassion. There's nothing weak about looking out for others. There's nothing... There's nothing weak about being honorable. You're not a sucker to have integrity and to treat others with respect. I was sitting here and I was just noticing the honorable Elijah E. Cummings. And, you know, this is a title that we confer on all kinds of people who get elected to public office. <laughs> We're supposed to introduce them as honorable. But, but Elijah Cummings 
was honorable before he was elected to office. There's a difference. There's a difference if you were honorable and treated others honorably. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.